Girl, it's what I heard. Allegedly, it's just the word. Allegedly, it's on the street. Allegedly, I say to the beat. Allegedly, lee, lee, lee. allegedly, lee, lee, lee. allegedly, lee, lee, lee. allegedly. In Kids Force news, there's a new show coming to E since they've lost their Kardashian cash cow. The show is called Raising an Effing Star. I mean, after we saw what Britney Spears and these other child stars have gone through, you really want to document your abuse? Okay. I mean, I ain't gonna say these kids ain't talented, but I ain't blown away. And the parents living vicariously through their kids, momager, dadager, why don't you actually hire someone who knows what they're doing? Imagine that, like you could still be the parent, but why don't you hire an actual manager that can get your child where they need to be with their talent? Why do you need to be involved on the business side? You can hire a lawyer to have them read the contracts, but child, if E is the best you can do, you can already lost. Oh, it didn't already come on. You know, I'd like to go through the families, but you see, I got this article from Bossip, and I wish I could like Bossip, but they always ask you to hit the flip, hit the flip, hit the flip. They can never put all of the article on one page. You've got to go through eight different pages to read the article. Ain't nobody got time for that, Bossip. Stop your crap. I am so sick of you. I stopped going to your website because if I see Hit the Flip one more time, I'm coming down to your offices and I'm slapping heads. Hit the Flip. I'm going to hit your flip all right. I swear, I'm going to start just copying your articles and putting them all on one page and I'm going to call the website. If you don't want to hit the flip, come here. Like, we got time for that. Kanye West is feuding with Adidas and he better be careful because I remember when Adidas dropped Tiana Taylor and she's never been the same. Remember when her and Rihanna got into it on Twitter and Adidas dropped her from that sponsorship so fast and then her music never came out and it took like a decade for her to kind of get back in the public's good graces? Almost like Carrie Hilson, except Carrie Hilson ain't never coming back. You could be a witch from Coven and do all the seven wonders. That necromancy spell ain't gonna work. In nasty news, Nicki Minaj's fake nail from the BMA sold for $55,000 on eBay. We buying used fingernails. I, I don't care if it was decorated. The jury couldn't have been that much. Nicki Minaj's fake nail is worth $55,000. Who had $55,000 to waste? Because I'll send you a whole set of clippings. The hell? But let's get to Tammy Roman on Carlos King's podcast because she talk about fraud. And this is her final interview on Basketball Wives. Okay, Heffa. So the episode starts with us going over Tammy's bit roles in television before she got big on the real world. She always tries to claim actress, and I know she is, but that was never your primary source of income. Tammy says she was booking jobs without any coaching or any lessons, and that's why your career's been stunted till now. I always thought you had what it takes, but you just never took off. Although I'm happy to see your success with the Miss Pat show now. He said, I don't know anybody who has the career that Tammy has. Actual stars? I mean, the heifer was on Real World, what, 20 years ago, then had a Basketball Wives resurgence, and now she's been able to do something with it. But I don't know if I'd call that career illustrious. I'd call it, you know, winging a prayer. So for the real world, she went to Radio Shack, made a tape of herself on a camcorder, and actually walked it to Universal Studios because they were living in Burbank. And so because Tammy was tenacious and made sure somebody looked at her tape, she actually replaced a cast member that they had already booked. But Bunham and Murray were very impressed with her. Not impressed enough to give her own show, but impressed enough to get her on the real world. That's the same company that was supposed to give the Queen's Court a TV show with Nicki Minaj. Pepperidge Farm remembers. So after the real world, she started studying acting with Chip Fields. This is also when she was engaged to Shitty Anderson. I mean, Kenny Anderson. And she thought she was done with reality TV. But seven years later, she was broke. And she said, look, I was getting EBT. But she said, hold up. Let me tell you what really happened. I got cast on a show, moved out to New York, the show fell through, so I went and got EBT because I wasn't going to spend my good money on food. A little fraud ain't never hurt nobody. 
So, Tammy, you're saying you weren't destitute. You were just scheming the system because that's so much better. Okay. I guess you waited until the statute of Limitete wore off. Oh, this show was the original Empire. It was her, I guess, as Cookie Lion, which I could see. Terrence Howard was attached. Sissy Lulu. So she pitched herself to basketball wives as the broke basketball wife. Once she got tired of hustling the system in the city. She said her and Shawnee weren't friends when she joined the show. She knew Shaq. So when Tammy started doing the show, she was still working nine to five. So now we get to Tammy's genuine shock that Heflin Lozada slept with her man and everybody knew it but her. Tammy said, I was never mad at Evelyn for sleeping with Kenny. Hell, everybody didn't slept with Kenny, except me. But, but, it was the lie that made me cry. I thought, how this heifer gonna be up in my face skinning and grinning for six months? Meanwhile, planning to put a knife in my back. So Tammy said I wasn't drunk. I was just acting from season three on, giving an amped up version of myself so we could get the scene done and help on home. I get it. Simone has said the same thing. She said I was drunk when I mushed Mika, but I would have mushed her anyway. Now you're saying you mushed her because you were drunk, but you just said you would have mushed her sober. I'm confused, Tammy. You're sounding kind of tipsy now. Tammy gonna say, I apologize because the scene didn't need all of that. Yes, it did, honey. That was iconic. Ha! Tammy said, you know, people keep running this old footage and people think I'm a musher and a purse stealer because they keep playing that episode with Keisha and the purse. But I mean, Tammy, that was great television and Keisha kind of deserved it. And Tammy said Keisha knew what she was doing because she was humping on production, which is how her boring butt got on the show. Who needs a plot line when you can give up some puss? Oh, so Shawnee did a pickup scene when the season was over, giving a woo 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 to Keisha. Tammy feels betrayed because she said Fecalo Nostra was the one who showed her the footage of Keisha talking smack about her behind the back. So she said production told her to take the purse. She said I shouldn't have gone through it. They didn't ask me to do that, but it was all production. I believe it. <laughs> So she feels stabbed in the back by Fecalo Nostril and Heflin Lozada for going to production and trying to get her fired, as well as just never really sticking up for her and always throwing her up under the bus for her violent behavior, but Evelyn gets to wield bottles and no one says anything. So apparently an executive in production was going back and forth with Evelyn talking about Tammy and she still has the emails. Tammy says this is providing closure for me because I will never Talk about basketball wives again. That chapter is closed. The door is closed. I mean, I guess. And her last season, she said, I didn't take no extra money just so I wouldn't have to film with Heflin. Carlos said this season is terrible without Tammy and Heflin. And it was. It was. I mean, we. I can't wait to see British's fraud, but that's just, you know, the legal beagle in me. But Heffa Christie, I'm tired of counting the rings on her necks. I have to agree with Fecal O Nostril that Malaysia doesn't have any substance. I'm tired of Brandy Maxine, brown gel queen. And Jennifer Williams does absolutely nothing. Nothing. She wasn't invited to Fecal O Nostril's wedding. I wonder why. Because y'all was never friends. You just said that 20 minutes ago. You knew Shaq. Were you invited to Shaq's new wedding? Do you hang out with him in hoops? Is he still with hoops? So now we start plugging her show with the cheaters and she's like, it's not just about the sensationalism of catching somebody cheating. We actually try to sit down and work out the issue. I'm sorry if you running around behind my back and I gotta hire a camera crew to catch you, but ain't nothing else to talk about. But that was pretty much the episode, so I'ma see you soon for something. Alleged what, alleged who, alleged Lee Lee Lee, allegedly. Don't blame, don't sue. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly.